In the previous videos we have learned about how to identify the web elements using either traditional locators or relative locators. In order to interact with the web elements, first we have to find them on the page and Selenium offers few methods to do so. First is find element. We already covered this in the traditional and relative locators tutorial and find elements method. Let's start with find element. We'll be using this H2 heading and as we can see this has multiple results on the page. So let's use this XPET in Visual Studio. There it is. We call the driver, then we call find element method and we pass the by which in our case is an XPET. So even if we find multiple web elements for this locator, find element will retrieve only the first web element from the list. Now let's see how can we use find elements method. So there it is, pretty similar. We start with the driver, then we call the find elements method and the parameter remains the same. In case of find elements, rather than just getting the first element, this method will return a collection of element references that are found. And if there are no matches, an empty list is returned. Now let's see how can we iterate through this H2 collection. So we have a for each and we iterate through this collection. We take all the text from the web elements and add it to this results list. And similar for find element, we take the text and add it to this list. We are doing this just to verify the results compared with the values from this list. One more thing to mention here, we can evaluate a subset of the DOM. So what we will do first, we will search for this web element and based on this element, we will search all the links from the navbar. So there it is. On this line, we have the parent element, which is the navbar. We call the driver and find element. And on the next line, instead of using the driver, we are using the parent element, which we just find on the previous line. And we want to take all the links, which in this case are given by the tag name A. And the same, we iterate through all the links and the ones which are not null or empty, we just add them in the results list. Now let's go and give it a run. Let's open the results file. So on the first line we call the find element method and we get back the first heading which is getting started. Then we call the find elements method, which as we can see will return all the headings. And in the last case we want to retrieve all the links from the nav bar and as we can see we get back the results we expect. So that would be everything for now. We learned how to find the locators and how to use the locators to find the web elements. Thank you very much for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.